What's up guys, King Bemo TV here. We're gonna do another Lost Caverns of Ixalan draft. Please take a quick second, like the video, really appreciate it. Subscribe if you like my content. I try to have a new, basically a new draft video every day, Monday through Friday. Um, and then when a set comes out, every day. Every single day. All right, first pick, first pack. Ackle Packle. I haven't seen this card in a while. I saw it early in the beginning of the set, and I haven't seen it since. Um, three mana, one five. Beginning of each player's end step. If an artifact enters the battlefield under your control this turn, look at the top two cards of your library. One in your hand, the other in the graveyard. So we're going to take it for sure. Um, it's each player's end step. If an artifact enters the battlefield under your control. So that's what you got to think. Uh, really good. We're passing an Oaken Siren and Inverted Iceberg, so wouldn't be surprised the person on our left still goes a little blue. Kutzel's really nice too, Deadweight solid, so uh, pretty easy Ackle Packle for us. So we want to be thinking artifacts. Wow. Blue is so good in this set, huh? Uh, crewmate's really good, Wailing Pirate's really good, Cogwork Wrestler is good and an artifact. Uh, Scampering Surveyor isn't the worst either. Somebody took an uncommon out of this pack, so potentially a signpost. So we'll see how that goes. We're going to take the crewmate here. Um, maybe we'll table waylaying pirates or cogwork wrestler or scampering surveyor. Ackle Packle is probably best in uh, blue white, but uh, really it's fine like all around in every deck, uh, in this format at least. You could be blue black. You could be even probably blue-green because you're making so many map tokens with exploring and stuff. But um, yeah, probably best blue-white and then obviously blue-red is super duper popular. But yeah, we'll take the staunch crewmate here. Staunch crewmate into staunch crewmate. Okay. I mean, a braid's great. Uh, Charter course is great. River Herald Scout's fine. Compass Gnome's good. But I'll take staunch crewmate. I'll keep taking blue cards. Don't need to jump into uh, red just yet. Keep our options open. Any fun names in this uh, in this pool? Chibachong. I like Chibachong. All right, take Stone's crewmate here. All right, first. Join the Dead's great. Dousing device is pretty good. Uh, Plundering pirates really good. But I think I'm gonna take Cogwork Wrestler here. Stay in blue. Um, I don't think the other ones are that much better than Cogwork Wrestler, so. Bent this, pick five, Oaken Siren. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, still just solidly blue. It's a pirate, which is great. It's an artifact, which is great. Uh, it's checking all the boxes, so very happy so far with this draft. All right, so we could take our first non-blue card here. Could be first strike, could be... Visage of the Dread, um, we could take Cartographer's Companion. I think I'm gonna take Visage of the Dead. I really wanna play blue and green. I haven't played it once. I've done like a lot of drafts in, the, <laughs> in this set, um, but I have never played blue and green once. But do I play a good artifact or do I pick a removal spell? I'm pretty sure we're gonna take Visage of the Dread. So yeah. Let's take it. Uh, I think we'll take Hidden Cataract here. Idol of Deep King, Goblin Tomb Raider. Probably also just totally fine options. Um, but we'll take Hidden Cataract here. We'll, we'll keep, keep taking blue cards. Okay, so Fanatical Offering here, probably. I kind of am looking at Cavernous Maw maybe too. Only if the number of caves you control plus the number of caves in your graveyard is three or greater. Might be pretty hard to do this. I haven't played this at all, though. Mm, I'll take it. I'll, I'll keep my options open. It's early enough. We have a nice little foundation for a blue deck here, so I think we can get a little greedy and try to get some more fun, fun cave stuff going. I've never drafted the cave deck yet in this format, so... Uh, I'm going to take Pirate Hat here. Although Gargantian Leech is pretty good if we keep taking cave cards, but... Uh, 
I have Oaken Sirens, two staunch crewmates. Yeah, I'll take the pirate hat here. Maybe I can get a leash later or something. I don't know how many caves I'm going to end up with. We did table waylaying pirates. That's excellent. We're off to a great start here. Uh, don't know what our second color is going to be. It certainly doesn't need to be black. But uh, yeah, looks good. Really good. Really, really good start. Staunch crewmate gets Cogwork Wrestler, the other Staunch crewmate, Pyre, I mean, basically everything. Yeah, <laughs> everything I've drafted so far, Staunch crewmate, crewmate gets, except for Ackle Packle. So, um, yeah, great, great start. Great start. Uh, we'll take Echo of Dusk here, because we're closest to blue black. Explorer's Cache wouldn't be the worst idea either, but I'll take Echo of Dusk, which I think is playable if you're descendy enough. Uh, I'll take the Hidden Volcano here. It's a cave, and blue-red certainly works well together. So, Still not sure if we're black. That will be decided probably next pack, but maybe not even next pack. Okay. I've never played this free booter card. It doesn't seem awful, but... Alright, uh, eight, seven playables if you just count blue, eight playables if you count Visage of the Dread. Although you can even count probably uh, Echo Dusk too. Alright, next pack. Oof. Alright, Jade Spelunker is really nice. And I do have dreams of playing blue-green one day. Bitter Triumph is really good. The blue cards are pretty weak. I'm thinking Bitter Triumph right now. Yep, I think I'm taking Bitter Triumph here. Just great. Kills a creature straight up. Really nice. It costs two and you have to discard a card or pay three life, but that's fine. That's not a big deal, in my opinion. All right, Starving Revenant, my good friend. I've played this card a few times in the past week. Um, it's good. No blue cards here. So the person on our left is definitely 100% blue, which is kind of surprising given all the blue cards we took last pack, but maybe they opened a good rare. So... Probably not going to see too much blue this pack, so this might be where we take a bunch of black cards. Maybe we could table Skullcap Snail, or at least Promising Vein. Don't think we'll table Gra Grasping Shadows, but stranger things have happened, so let's take Starving Revenant. Okay, we'll take Souls of the Lost. I, I, I like Souls of the Lost. Uh, we're not that descendy yet, but um, I mean, our past two picks have had descend, so I think we'll have to get a little descendy, and I think that's okay, but I'll still focus on the Ackle Packle, the artifacts, the pirates, uh, that'll still be important, but Souls of the Lost is nice. I I'm, I'm a fan of this card. It's also good with our Bitter Triumph, which discards a card when you play it, so um, other ways to get that Descent triggers up. So, And Ackle Packle actually does too, right? Because you look at the top two cards of your deck, one goes in your hand, one goes in the graveyard, so that'll keep feeding that too. So, um, Good synergy so far. Uh, Soul Coil Viper is good. Um, it's probably Soul Coil Viper. Yeah, I like I like Soul Coil Viper in blue black. Or I li I just I like it. Period. Um, I'll make sure I try to get some of the, the swamp and the island cyclers. Feed the yard so I can reanimate them. Also, I can bring back Starving Revenant, Wailing Pirates, Ackle Packle, something like that. Um, yeah, solid. So we this we took Bitter Triumph, Starving Revenant, Souls of the Lost, Soul Coil Viper. So starting with four black cards, it looks like we're blue black. Uh, the person on our left is definitely blue and wants to take all the blue cards. So that's unfortunate for us this pack, but we still have the upper hand on packs one and pack three. So um, that's fine. Uh, I'll take Ray of Ruin here. I don't tend to play this card, but we'll take it just in case we don't have a ton of removal. Uh, I do like Sunbird Standard, but only for three colors, which doesn't look like uh, a thing right now. So 
Ray of Ruin. I'll put it in the board for now, though. Still going to think about the, this potential cave deck, though, in the back of my mind. Shroud, of course, is good. It also discards a card, which could be good for Descend. It's interesting that our opponent passed us two good blue cards here, though, after first picking one and us not re really seeing any good par cards, good blue cards the first five picks of this pack. So a uh, bit surprised to see this here, but we'll take this. Kind of the same thing with Nautilus. Deadweight is also pretty good. Um, I think it's probably Nautilus. Nautilus is an artifact. It's a nice big body on turn two. It has vigilance. You know, I, I like Deadweight too, for sure, because it also usually triggers Descend. I'll take the Nautilus, though. Drought is okay. Akawali's. I'm going to take Akawali here. Maybe we'll splash green if we get, like, a couple caves, a couple more cave stuff. Because um, Akawali's really good. I could just take Drought, but Drought's more of a black-white card, in my opinion. So keep our options open with the Akawali. Uh, Puzzle Door is okay. This is our first pack where we took the um, Bitter Triumph. Puzzle Door is okay. It does feed the yard. It's a nice, like, turn one Brainstorm type thing. Uh, not nearly as good as Brainstorm, but... Puts two cards in the yard. Two permanents in the yard, potentially, for uh, your Descended cards. Uh, we did Table Promising Vein. That's good. That'll... The consideration of Akawali still stays... First strike, yeah, why not? I mean, will we play it? We'll see. Hidden Nursery, great. So I think I think we should be able to play Akawali for sure. Probably not going to play Primarial Nauter. Uh, I'd like to get that cave that makes all your caves tap for any mana. I think that'll be really great. A nice confirmation that we could play Akawali. Uh, what is that card? Second chance? Last chance? The mill two, raise dead two cards. That would be good if we can get one of those. Need a little bit more removal. Just have bitter triumph, right? Uh, stalactite stalker's good. Deadweight's good. Hidden nursery's good. Poison dart frog is good. Compass gnome is good. Plenty of good choices here. Stalactite Stalker, it's really nice, like one drop. Gets bigger if you descend. One, two, three, four, 18 playables, 17 if you cut first strike. You have 12 creatures. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna, ugh, I'm gonna take dead weight. I I want the removal. It was close. It was definitely really close. Uh, back to our first strategy in our in our first pack. We'll take Water Wing Scout. Death Cat Marionette wouldn't be the worst idea either. Uh, Hidden Necropolis, River Herald Scout. Not much else. I think I'll take the River Herald Scout here. Um, let's see, what did we just say? 17, 18, 4, 20 cards. We're doing okay on creatures. Exploring is good because it can help descend as well. Curve wise, we have plenty of two drops. Playables wise, we have 20. I'm going to take Hidden Necropolis. Synod Scout is good, but we're more black, blue, and splashing green. So let's stick to that. We'll take Death Cat Marionette here. Pit of Offering wouldn't be the worst either, especially if we're like three colors. But uh, we'll take Death Cat Marionette here. Uh, not a bad pack. I'll take Skullcap Snail. Love me some Skullcap Snail. 
Thematically, we're in a few places right now. Another chance. Stinging Cave Crawler. How's our curve looking? They're both three drops. I would like another chance. I'm going to take another chance. Yeah, if I see another, another chance in these next two packs, I'm going to regret not taking the Singing Cave Crawler, but I would like one another chance a lot. I always think like, oh yeah, I'll splash green, I'll play Hidden Nursery, but you need a second green to activate it, so that's not super easy to do. So it's almost like you're just better off playing a forest, but especially if we don't get that cave that makes our other caves tap for any mana, which is pretty unlikely at this point. We have what, three more picks, two more picks. It's probably just these two more picks. No, no, wrong way. These two, maybe. One, two, three, four, five. We're at 23 playables right now. We're curving out at four. Uh, I'd like a compass gnome, something else that can kind of help with mana. Captivating caves, okay. River held scout. Twist and turns, explore. Yeah, it's, we're not that green. I have to remember we're not that green. Captivating cave. I guess we'll take River Hell Scout here. If we had that other cave card I keep mentioning, then maybe we play that. But I don't think we play Cavernous Maw now. Maybe not Hidden Nursery. Probably not Final Strike. Pick eight here. Okay. Axe Draw's good. Poison Dart Frog's good. Stone Tree's okay. But we need green. See, that's the problem. You splash for green. It just it doesn't work out that well. Uh, I'll take Cogwork mostly. Yeah, it may not even make sense to play Akawali. We'll take a look. You don't want to ruin our mana base just for that. Um, yep, yeah, I don't think we're playing this, any of these. Should probably just be blue black. Marionette is fine. Yeah, I think we should just be blue black. Akawali's really good, but if I had a compass gnome, then maybe I'd play it. So right now we just have the promising vein. Oh, we tabled River Held Scout. How about that? This is 25 playables. Brackish Blunder, maybe. Echo, maybe. Alright, we gotta cut a few cards. Brackish Blunder, probably not gonna play. Um, Alright, let's see. Let's look at pirate hat. We have four pirates. So two crewmates, waylaying pirates, and siren. Yeah, probably cut pirate hat. I think we could play 16 lands. I think we'll cut echo. So. Um, do I keep promising green? Nope, I don't think so. 18 creatures, wow, a lot of creatures. Um, I think we have enough artifacts to play Waylaying Pirates, right? We have six, plus anything that makes an artifact, which may not be many. Brackish Blunder, Water Wing Scout. Hmm, yeah, not great. 
It might be waylaying pirates. And the artifacts are good with Ackle Packle for sure. Man, is our deck better with green? I kind of want to play Pirate Hat. Looks like we got a lot of these one and two drops. Make them a lot better. I think we can cut a death cat marionette. Maybe we cut two crewmates, but no, I don't think so. Eleven different targets in our deck. Mathematically, we should hit one most of the time. Brackish blunder. Brackish blunder isn't a permanent, so I think we can get rid of that. Alright, now we're at 17 creatures, 7 artifacts, 1 card that makes an artifact, and 4 pirates. I think that's good. We'll just cut a land. Cut a swamp. No, keep it even here. Yeah, I think that's good. 16 lands, plenty of creatures, plenty of two drops, pirate hat to make our creatures a little better. Okay with the removal in the removal department with dead weight and um, bitter triumph and there was something else. Yeah, that's really it with removal. So that's that's a little bit of a problem, but Really, Starving Revenants are a big win condition other than just like little beater two twos. So part of me does want to still consider playing green. I don't know if it's right, but I'm going to keep my mana the way it is. Marcus 89. Marcus 89. Wow, looks great. Crewmate into Water Ring Scout. Perfect. And three lands on top we don't have to worry about. Okay. Let's attack. Anybody home? All right, just cycle your land, bro. Okay, so, I mean, they have something that costs two. I thought it was a land cycler, but maybe they're just in full control. Cosmian Blast? Sure. Take two. Play Crewmate. Hogwarts Wrestler mana open. Oh man, we missed and we our best cards there. That's a bummer. That's a big bummer. Um, definitely considering playing Charter Course pre-combat. To discard. I don't need to do that yet. 
Let's message you the dread. Final strike, final strike, walk with the ancestors over the edge. Wow. Okay, so they're gonna pump up their creatures soon, huh? Okay, what do we do? Just keep putting pressure on them, I guess. Alright, their creatures are very valuable to them right now, so... I know I won't discard here, but that's okay. So we want to draw our removal spell, which might be on the bottom. Is it on the bottom? I wish it said that it was on the bottom. With Starving Revenant was our uh, removal spell with Starving Revenant when I staunch cremated. I think it might be. Which is definitely a problem, right? Like this, this is a 5-4 flyer right now. Like, I can't really deal with that. I just have to aggro them out, which is what I'll do. That's a great draw. I think we, I feel like we just won because we just drew this. That resolved right away, so their mana situation hasn't changed much. So, the Cosmium Blast, okay. All right, so this will be a 2-3, and I'll discard something. So it would be a 3-4. It could still get final striked. Or do I play Nautilus? I think I'll play Nautilus instead. I guess they could bring back spring-loaded saw blades. That would be an okay one. Goes in their deck, right? In their hand, sorry. Or they could just final strike something. Could also Visage of the Dread soon, right? We have two creatures in the yard. Souls of the Lost will shrink if we Visage of the Dread. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That was really good for them. Five four menace is pretty good, but they are, they have several removal spells for it. So we swing out. Probably really only hit them for four, which is not a lot. Um, maybe Death Cap Marionette. I think I'll t attack with Nautilus. First thing I do. I'm gonna trade with the Spider if they block. I'm gonna I'm gonna pump the Nautilus no matter what. All right. Again, creatures are a premium to them, so let's let's kill them. This also puts something in the yard, which makes Souls of the Lost bigger. I will mill two cards. Great. Now this is a 5-6. That's perfect. I'll play Hidden Cataract tapped, and then I'll play Souls of the Lost and sacrifice Cogwork Wrestler. Now it's a 6-7. So they can't final strike it. They need two removal spells to kill it. So they could play land, final strike, final strike. No, they can't. They'll trade if they do that. Like, it'll trade after the first battle. Alright, so we'll sack this to make it even bigger. So 
So now their final strike is worse. All right, three, two. Yeah, so they will kill this if they can, which they could currently if I attack with it. But we'll just attack with all the other, all the other guys. Which will end up pumping up my souls lost. Deadweight was good, but I can't imagine it being one of the top few cards we could have gotten. But honestly, it might be. Now we have an 8-9. Now they can't kill. And they can't kill it. Take 3, go to 8. Indeedaroo. I'll just play the island here. Six mana. So final strikes are blank in their hand right now. They can't kill any. I mean, they could kill my two creatures, but they trade. So. Oh, it's not a fight. It's not a fight. Why did I think it was a fight? All right, we're still doing pretty good, I think. Can't do both of these, it's a bummer. Do I want to mill two cards? think so. Alright, so we finally don't know what's in their hand. The saw blades is three and crafts with an artifact. Cutsel is fine. Explorer's cash. What do they do? Pump up, I don't know, Cutsel, I guess? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, it's relevant now, right? So they could double block, and we'd just be one trade. So, um, we'll just swing out here. Uh, I think we kill Cutzel. Cutzel's uh, problematic at times. There are two. Play Oaken Siren. Soul Coil Viper. I just realized Soul Coil Viper, I don't have any of the land cyclers. I didn't see a single one. We can bring back Hidden Cat, um, Waylaying Pirates. Or Souls of the Lost. So we could bring back a an 8 9 or um, something to stun their creature. So. Ugh. Should be good. Nice. Cool. Jim Joe Bob. Jim Joe Bob. Love that name. Uh, yeah, looks good. Missing black, but we got plenty of ways to draw some cards. We're also on the play, which is nice. So, Puzzle Door being our only artifact with Ackle Packle and Waylaying Pirates in our hand is a little bit suboptimal, but. I think we're still playing it on turn one. Maybe we don't have to sack it on turn two, though. You know? Opponent is on the mull. That's always a good sign. Hammer. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think we...
we should chart a course here. And I think we can get rid of the River Held Scout. So we'll play Swamp and then Ackle Packle and then Waylaying Pirates. It's good. Does it lose all abilities still? The chosen permanents become treasure artifacts. It loses all of their abilities. Okay. I can't even waylaying pirates that right now. Equipped. Snail is good. We could save Snail for now. They still have three cards in their hand. If I sack Ackle Packle, then I can another chance. I think we just wait laying pirates here, though. We'll just keep the Oaken Siren stunned. Maybe they'll hammer the Ackle Packle treasure. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Then it's like a removal spell. Versus if I get rid of Kite Sail Arsonist, I get it back. Not sure. Uh, let's puzzle door here. One in your hand, one in the yard. Alright, come on Jim Bob. Jim Joe Bob. One in your hand. Alright, let's attack for three. Come on, Jim Joe Bob. Let's go, man. Just, like, do something here. Alright, so whatever card I put in my hand, I lose three life. I think we could pitch both of those. Our life total is important, feeding the yard is good, and we have another chance to bring back potentially crewmate. Oaken Siren isn't super exciting right now, so. So we waited all that time for Jim, Jim Bob Cooter to do nothing. All right, go to 12. And they're gonna play something now, right? Really nothing, huh? <sighs> All right. Let's attack. Exile. Damn. That's a bummer. That's a real bummer.
All right, we have a blocker for Oaken Siren now. We still have to deal with the Kite Sail Arsonist. Oh, God. That's a lot. That's eight. Yeah, I think we take eight here. Land? Land go? No. Damn, it's the second time we've missed. What do we want to draw? It's really not a lot. We're dead to a removal spell right now, so... We're dead to a Petrify. Or we're dead to a Brackish Blunder, so it makes me think... Uh, we're in trouble. Damn. It's a weird game. Just like weird orders and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that was a weird game. The kite sail card's really good. Three mana, two, three flyer, and kill one of your opponent's creatures. And ward one. It's pretty, pretty, pretty much a lot. Isaiah's Cantu. This is not good. We didn't have any black last hand. But that was okay, because we had two other spells to do. But this this is not good enough. This is good. Oh, I think we get rid of the Soul Coil Viper. Cash. That's nice. Visage of the Dread. Yeah, sure, we'll keep it. Why not? Okay. We'll cast it. What do you got, friend? Deadweight, Fanatical Offering, Rampaging Spike Tail. I guess we'll get rid of the Marionette. Not very exciting, but... <clears throat> They don't have too much going on. Probably fanatical offering tithing blade now or something. Yep, they could still do what I said. That'll be my expectation here, at least. Uh, no need to rush out the revenant. Can we hit on this, please? Those are good. I th think Waylaying Pirates is better. It's a nice card for me to cast next turn, too. I think we'll keep that. I think we'll keep that. Yep. Draw two cards, make a map token. So dead weight, and then four unknowns. Probably waylaying pirate, whatever they play. If they don't play anything, then we'll chart a course. Is that worth killing? 
I guess we waylaying pirates that, right? Another dinosaur cycling. That seems loose when you have Lorekeeper in play. They gonna map again? I think I'd rather draw two cards than Waylaying Pirates at 2-2. They have four, five... I mean, unless they drew another Rampaging Spike Tail. Or the green version. They still need a land for the green version, so... Okay, no lands. But plenty of card advantage. Oh, come on. And there's Ackle Packle in that one. So we don't want to see forest and then forest cycling dinosaur. That's not what we want to see. That is fine. I have no problem with that. All right. We get a 3-3. Three, three. I think I could play Revenant now. Maybe keep some of the cards, we'll see. Um, I'll take six. Card advantage, guys. How do we have the same amount of cards? Oh, they've cycled twice. God, again, exiled. <clears throat> this is a 2 3. It's a 2 3. Let's attack for two. You know, I... I could play Water Ring Scout and sack the map token, and then this is still a 2-3, but I kind of want it to be a 3-4. So, I think I'm going to play Water Ring Scout. And then Souls the Lost. And I think I'm going to discard Oaken Siren. I could discard Puzzle Door. But I think I'd rather get rid of Oaken Siren. So we. Oh man. I uh, wish I got one of those. We're getting beat up here. Alright, I think it's finally time to waylane pirates. We have a blocker for their 3-3. Three, three. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the flying part of that is probably the biggest issue. But I guess we have one of the scouts, so maybe it's not that bad. Very quickly pick another chance. Alright, that's a bummer. Alrighty. Alright, most of our good cards are gone. Opponent has no cards in their hand? Classic.
let's explore Water Ring Scout. Guess we'll play the land. We want to make sure we have a blocker for Deep Cavern Bat. That could just be the Water Ring Scout by itself, could be the Water Ring Scout with Pirate Hat. I think it's just the Water Ring Scout because we don't really need it to be a 3 3. Because if they want to trade, I still get another chance back, which is plenty of card equity. So I think. I think I hold on the Skullcap Snail. They're going to draw two cards. Is Skullcap Snail worth keeping right now? Could just attack with the staunch crewmate and then loot. All right, let's do that. Okay, so they're happy because they get more counters on their explorer's cache, so they can hit me for three with deep cavern bat. It's not the end of the world, though. We go to 2. They go to 13. Ouch. Oh, that's rough. We're one mana short of what we want to do. Um, I think we have to equip Water Ring Scout with the Pirate Hat, so it's a 3-3. And we could double block the Colossal Dactyl and chump block the Chupacabra Echo. I think that's our play. Yeah, now we just pass and go into full control and we'll see what happens. Oh god. Yeah, I don't think we can win this game. Not drawing very well. All right, we need to loot here, I think, or we're dead. We could make the five four. Yeah, I mean, I guess we just make the five four, right? I don't think we mill to. It's really there's not too much in our deck that we really want at this point. That's why I think it's gonna be pretty tough for us to win. Um so we could double block with Echo Dusk and Skullcap Snail, and then that dies. Then they get another counter on Explorer's Stash, which is a bummer. Or we just block with the Dread Osseosaur. Either way, they're going to get the counter, which is a big bummer.
We could just chump block. If we chump block, then they don't get the counter. Just gonna chump block because they don't get the counter. Maybe I'm valuing the counter too much, I'm not sure. I'm going to attack. I know they have the 4 or 5 reach. Ooh. That's good. We need to discard a card or pay 3 life. So we're going to kill the 4 or 5 here and discard Cogwork Wrestler. No, we can't do that because then they just attack with Deep Cavern Bat and we lose. I think it just has to die. Uh. All right, I think we're dead, but let's see how they attack. Okay, that's good. Now we can cast another chance. Get back Souls of the Lost. Alright, guys. Our opponent has no cards in their hand, so we definitely want Souls of the Lost. And we have a. I think Waylane Pirates. Okay, so let's do this things. We get attack with Echo of Dusk here. Stun the Colossal Dactyl, so we get attack with Echo of Dusk. They may block with Poison Dark Frog. I'm going to attack with Echo of Dusk first. Just in case the card that I draw is something that... Um, I don't know. Something with Souls of the Lost where I want to sacrifice a permanent instead of discarding a land in my hand. Like, that might be worth keeping. If they block with the Pathfinding Extra, oh yeah. I think we did it, guys. I think we're winning this game. Tough game, but I think we're winning this game. That was a great draw. Now the Extra dies. We gain 4 life. We go to 6. Okay, we make a 7-7. Seven, seven. Do we want to get rid of Pirate Hat? Uh. 
I guess my 13, 14, I still can attack as a Poison Dark Frog. But I could attack with Osseosaur. And they can make another 7 7. We deck way before they do. Um, they have 6 7. They can't make two seven sevens and block Osseosaur. So, yeah, we attack with Dread Osseosaur. We don't mind if Souls the Lust dies because of Soul Coil Viper. But we have to make sure we survive an attack as well. We are not milling two cards. Okay. We had dead weight to kill Tendril Lego Tyrant, but that's gone now. I don't know what we could do here. Like we can get back Water Wing Scout, so we have a flyer. But well, I don't think we're surviving that many more turns. Nothing else here does anything, really. Alright, I think we play Nautilus, we get Waterwing Scout. Then we pass. No, because they, they still have the Colossal Dackle. Yeah, it's, I think I think we lose. They're gonna have three seven sevens. Now it's a 14, 15. So I can attack. They could still poison Dark Frog. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't think I can win this, so. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I can't win. There's, there's nothing in my deck I can play. They didn't play super tight, but... Like, they still have Colossal, Colossal Doctor, Dactyl. We have uh, Deadweight, Ackle Packle in our deck, and Lens. I block one, I go to ten, I take seven, I go to three. I mean,
Hello? Maybe they'll disconnect. <laughs> All right. I'm just uh, giving them the game. Let's save both of our times. And everyone was watching, save your time too. Yeah, I mean, I, maybe my attack was wrong there with the 1415 to kill the poison dart frog. If I did that first, they probably still block and kill it, and then I could bring it back, but I still, I lose that game. This doesn't seem like a 1-3 deck, so I don't know. Hopefully, uh, now we're in the 1-2 bracket. We're playing some more stinker decks, and we can recover. So we're a little light on removal in this deck, for sure, and that's been pretty obvious as we're playing the first two games, first three games, but um, not giving up just yet. Not giving up just yet. Gul'dash. Gul'dash. All right, looks great. Like, do we just not play Puzzle Door? Save it for Ackle Packle. Seems reasonable, right? Ooh, that's really good. That was really good. Hopefully he doesn't get dead rated. Because next turn we can play Ackle Packle and then tap Oak and Siren to play Puzzle Door. Get my own skull cards now. Should have plenty of uh, card advantage this game, so. Um, yeah, I want that one. Looks like a pretty easy dead weight. These are both good. It's probably chart of course though, right? Draw some more cards. Alright, we have Water Wing Scout next turn to trigger Ackle Packle. As long as I don't get joined the deaded here. Wow. Snail into bat into dread. I'd take water wings out. Make the right choice. God, another swamp. Too many swamps. Alright, we'll attack for one again. What are we doing, guy? Just cycle the card. Just cycle it. Swamp cycle. Okay. I might Soul Coil Viper just to get Water Wing Scout back, just to put an artifact into play to draw a card. Unless they kill Ackle Packle here. Obviously. Every game we get exiled. We're just playing black decks that are exiling cards all the time. God. Oh, I just had to descend there for a second. A lifelink. Alright, we'll keep it. I guess I'll play another show. I get dead weight back, that's fine. I don't think it's gonna be super easy for them to deal with both these flyers. Being black green.
So they have Visage of the Dread. Which becomes Osseosaur. Which is a 5-4 Menace. I'm gonna kill it. Five four trample versus five four menace. One they have to pay six four this turn. One's attacking me. So, all right, what do we want to draw? Definitely not a land. Uh, that's pretty good. It's interesting they didn't use Visage of the Dread though. It makes me think maybe they have that Fathomless Descent Wrath card, or maybe a Chupacabra. But for that reason, I'm not playing Waylaying Pirates. I guess they'll probably kill Oak and Siren, right? So maybe I should have played Waylaying Pirates. Yeah, maybe I should have. I don't know. If they've chewed. Okay. So I made the right choice. Why aren't they using Visage of the Dread? I feel like they should use Visage of the Dread. I think we won this game. Okay, all right. All right, 2-2. Two, two. Struggles. Struggles. What's with the swamps missing in my deck here? I mean, this hand looks fine, right? But definitely need some lands at some point. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Make a swamp here would be great. All right. Okay, draw some cards. There's the swamp. Um, just pass for now. Probably puzzle door into turn, depending on what they do. Phantom. Sure. One in my hand, one in the yard. Um, this is better, I think. Back for one. Okay, no more lands, please. And if they are, I hope they're swamps. This card's good, right? You make a 3-2 hasty skeleton every turn. Skeleton should control plus one plus one haste. When it enters the battlefield, no, not every turn. You make a 2-2. At the beginning of your end step, if you descended this turn, you may pay one life and return that to his hand. Okay, that's what it is. All right, so we'll just take, take three, I think. Yeah. All right, uh, another black card. Um, just attack for four, put them to 14, then play Snail. We'll play another chance into Viper. Nah, I don't want to play another chance yet. Echo of Dusk isn't great. This could be a, th this will be a 3-4, so I guess that's good. Let's play the 3-4. Play another island. Play this, we'll discard an island. Of Dusk is on three now. Souls of the Lost is on three. Okay. That doesn't trigger descend. That will. Nice deck. Restless Vents, Corpses of the Lost, Tunnel Grinder. Wow. Really nice. 
but hopefully we just uh, outrun them a bit here. Um, I think we just swing out here. It really puts them in a precarious situation, life total wise. Just chump lock, that's a good sign. Okay, that's what I figured they'd do. Okay, so we'll snail. That looked like a mountain, yep. Okay, another chance is blank now. Not that another chance is blank, but uh, be very happy to chump block with Skullcap Snail this turn because it makes Souls of the Lost bigger and Echo of the Dusk bigger and have Life Link. So, Restless Vents is becomes a two-three menace. Discard and draw. Okay, it's pretty good. We don't want to see their own Skullcap Snail this turn. Guys, every time, Ray of Ruin. Every time. Ay, ay, ay. They go to three. If I do another chance now, this will become a three three, more than likely. But then I can't bring it back. I think that's good. I think this is fine. Play a land this turn? I don't think we did. So we should be able to play Crewmate and Echo of Dusk. I don't I don't I don't think it matters that they'll be able to see this, right? Because Visager Dread doesn't do too much for us right now. Oh, it's pretty obvious I have. Oh no, they know that I have it anyway. So, all right, they're at three. They're black red. Dead on board right now. I'm just gonna play Cogwar Wrestler, right? Because they'll block here and here. They take three. They're they're actually dead on board already. So I guess I don't play it. Obviously. All right, what do they have? They could have that removal spell that I have. They could have a braid. So, I guess we'll see how it goes. Okay. They're gonna take two and go to one. Yeah, I wish I played Cogwork Wrestler now, but. Didn't know about the Abrade, so I could save one of my creatures. It's got to be Wayland Pirates, I think. Okay, do your worst. They have the land that can block, too. Uh, they're killing themselves. Got it. Cool. Nice. You think they knew they were killing themselves? Probably, right? Like, they had this, which makes a 
creature. And they have the land, so maybe they didn't know they were killing themselves, because... Yeah, I feel like maybe they didn't know, because they had they had the land and they had a three drop, so like they didn't they could have blocked my creatures last turn. Dan Dan Town Hall. Dan Town Hall. Alright, we'll keep this. Looks like Necropolis, then Island. Hoken Siren, probably, because that's easy to attack with. Opponents on the mall. Yeah, this is easier to attack with next turn versus Staunch Crewmate, maybe less easy to attack with. And I'm saying that via Charter Force. So these are all land. Okay. Alright, mana base looks good for late game, that's for sure. What is the oh their trip they got triple green going on right now. That's not good for them. Let's hit. Let's hit twice, huh? Okay. And let's hit again. They got some red. That's not going to do much, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could waylaying pirates, but I think we just attack here instead. We'll save waylaying pirates for something better. We know we have Cogwork Wrestler, so. Uh, what are we going to do with our mana? We're going to play Water Ring Scout and Deathcap Marionette, so. Uh, yeah. I think we mill two here. Land, land. Land, land. Land, land. Nice. I, I do do the math when I decide if I'm going to mill or not. So... If it's like 40% chance or higher, I'm gonna draw land. I have no comfortable, uh, no no issue milling because I feel like I'm gonna hit them. But when it's like low 30s, I'm gonna draw land. I don't like milling because I, I do want to draw those cards, you know. Yeah, this guy didn't stand a chance this game. And the backup Cogwork Wrestler too. They don't even know about. Oh, I made I made a mistake. Whoops. Oopsie. All right, no reason to play it. Just getting a little too uh, confident here. Sure. Stomper. Right, still got four in the air, so. And a Death Toucher. So we'll attack with our um, Death Cat Marionette, Waterwing Scout, Open Siren. Did they say good game? I didn't see. Maybe they did. It's a little early for good game, I feel like, but. I could double Cogwork Wrestler. Take them both. All 
Imagine if I lose here. <laughs> it's like close, right? We'll assume they don't have two staggering sizes here. We'll block just in case they have two staggering sizes. That's one. Are we dead anyway? Oh my god, are we dead? No. Yo, I really panicked there. Oh my god. Alright. Whew. That was scary. Nitro Muse. Nitro Muse. Alright. We'll keep. Nitro Muse, let's go! Let's go! Hey, they're alive! Two pirate hat, not the best turn two play. Uh, that's way better. Sure. Swamp. Poison dart frog. Should we kill poison dart frog? I don't think we can kill Poison Dark Frog. I think that would be irresponsible. We're going to play Pirate Hat so our Waylaying Pirates is better next turn. They may think we're just doing that because if Echo of Dusk isn't that good now anyway, maybe we want to protect Echo of Dusk. Uh oh. Alright, so that we want a bitter triumph. Poison Dart Frog gave them blue as well. If you need combat in your turn, it explores and then becomes a copy of something. Yeah, I think we just we have to kill it. And I think we discard Echo of Dusk. Pirate Hat. I don't know what we want to discard here. Probably whatever we draw. Yep. I want to draw a swamp. Oh god, that's a big one. All right, waylaying pirates is good. Uh, that is not what we want. Tap down their dinosaur. Attack for three. We'll discard cataract to play swamp. And we could leave this the way the way it is. All right, they have six mana. Sorry, seven mana. We know Goblin Skull Taker. Jeez. All right, we, we literally don't have removal in our deck for that, so. It's not great. Yeah, and they're both tramplers too.
Uh, we could double block. That's the only thing we kind of have going for us right now. Could play. I think we just play Revenant and then Puzzle Door. Anything good here? I mean, Ackle Packle's good. This is definitely going there. We're kind of about to play Puzzle Door too, but I guess we keep it on top and then we can. We don't puzzle for them. <clears throat> Starving Revenant should get online quicker with, with Ackle Packle too. I'm hoping they don't attack this turn. They're still playing defensively. Maybe just the one then, I guess. Okay, go to six. No attacks. I feel like we kind of want the land. Revenants on five. Okay, they may just pass. That's probably hoping for a lot, right? Yeah, they'll probably attack with with all three dinosaurs. And we're at chump block dump. Okay. That might be relevant to Frog, I don't know. Alright, so we want to kill at least one of the dinosaurs, right? So I think we want to double block the 6-6. Six, six. We can't kill both dinosaurs, we don't have 13 power. Yeah, so I think it's... It's that, and I think it's that, and that. They kill Adam Packle and keep Starving Revenant. That's great, because well, this should, Starving Revenant will be on 8 right now. So I'll draw a card and they'll lose one, I'll gain one. Wow, that would be awesome. I mean, of course, if they have anything right now, we're in trouble, so. Like, we're probably, we're dead to a staggering size. Um, what? Oh, okay. Well, now it's at nine, so we draw a stroke of genius and we're fine. God, the, the trample part of that is really <laughs> is the problem, right? We could we could fill up our board again. Like another chance is nah. I mean, even that. I mean, <sighs> yeah, guys, I think we lose. None of these draw cards. Adam Packle draws cards, but... Like, we could play another chance and bring back Adam Packle. But we don't have enough mana to actually play Puzzle Door. We could play Death Cat Marionette. And... Yeah, we lose. If we had, like... Uh, this is a stupid thing to say. If we had like infinite mana, we'd be good here. <laughs> but, um, 
Yeah, not good enough. So, I th I thought this deck was better than 3-3. Three, three. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I thought it was definitely better than 3-3. Three, three. Um, was short on removal. I prioritized it. I took Deadweight over a better card. I don't remember what it was at the time, but I know I took Deadweight. Oh, it's 4-3. All right, so still, maybe this is a 4-3 deck. I feel like I could have done a little better with it, but why do I keep, I keep typing it wrong today? Um, yeah, Bitter Triumph, Deadweight, that's it. No Join the Dead. I didn't play the dumb card that people used on me every single game that exiles a card. That was a that was a bummer. I think we had some bad matchups that way. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. 4-3. More wins and losses. At this point, that's infinite for me because with the pack opening, I get gems and stuff. But a um, little, little suboptimal. So hope you guys liked the video. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.